for me personally this is my story and it's not meant to scare people <laughs> it's meant to inform that you're not alone if you are starting to feel these side effects hi so today's video is going to be a vlog about my second shot of the vaccine i got the moderna vaccine and today is the third day since i got it and yeah so so we just finished our shots and i feel like the injection site has like some soreness to it now and it's just been like 20 minutes from getting injected and what do you feel it's like feeling great 2.0 <laughs> <laughs> no she feels great again <laughs> okay we'll see bye hello so it's 8 p.m it's been five hours since my second shot and i just wanted to say that i immediately felt pain on the arm about an hour after the second shot and right now it already has that soreness it's quicker this time uh, i don't know what else is going to come up throughout the night but most of my co-workers have reported chills on the first night of getting vaccinated so we'll see so this is the 24 hour check-in um i feel like i didn't make it to work i was supposed to be working today arm hurt so much like it escalated so quickly i did mention yesterday like last night i did mentioned that it was already starting to hurt but today it's elevated and it's swollen the only visible thing about it is that it has a little bruise and i'll i will show a picture here um i'm not in the mood to <laughs> show my shoulder right here but i did take a picture and i'll show it to you guys yeah so i have that right now body is achy i feel like i'm in slow-mo mode like my normal speed got reduced. My friend is feeling the same thing. She also has a lot of pain on the sh shoulder. This motion right here, it's hurting me and it's warm compared to the rest of my arm. So it is swollen. Um, that's just within 24 hours of getting the shot. So I asked for Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> I've been wanting donuts because I just wanted donuts to make me happy. Uh, my appetite is not as good. But I do eat. It's just I'm slow to move. I don't want to move. My body is just achy. And I did get a headache earlier, twice now, um, since I woke up this morning. And now that I'm well fed, I will drink Tylenol because I can't with this. <laughs> and if I have a way to lessen how shitty I feel, I think I have to drink medication at this point so that's that hello so today is the second day after my vaccination i feel so much better when i woke up i did not have as much body ache and i can i can move fast today i went back to my normal flow um, i was able to cook breakfast and i cooked dinner too oh it's um bangusisi <laughs> one of the few things I know how to cook but anyway yeah it feels so much better today than yesterday but I still have arm pain and I'm still getting headaches so that's that and we're back <laughs> so yeah so today is the third day of me having the vaccine my second shot and it wasn't easy and here it is yay <laughs> okay so you can visibly see that there is still bruising on it um, if i press on it um, it's not as bad but there is still some tenderness right here i can still feel it and my whole side right here is still kind of sore um, i think it comes with the vaccine that's just how it is you know your body is triggered to respond to it because you have been exposed to it the first time so this is just this whole thing right now that I'm going through since two days ago it's all just my body responding to what the heck is this I need to defend myself from it and that's why it's swelling it's, it was warm I had a slight fever I had body aches I had a headache but overall today I feel a lot better than 24 hours after that was the that was the worst so as you can see after 96 hours i developed what they call as the covid arm and it's a patch of redness 
it's like a rash it's itchy and annoying but it's basically harmless my advice would be to schedule your vaccination wisely i did not expect to have that kind of pain the next day but it was very uncomfortable i will provide a link down below that um, goes to the cdc website which talks about what you can expect after the vaccination this video i made is meant for people to be aware of what to expect when they get the vaccine and just to inform that it's gonna be okay it just feels really bad on the first 24 hours for me this is my experience it could be different for you so for me personally this is my story and it's not meant to scare people <laughs> it's meant to inform that you're not alone if you are starting to feel these side effects okay i did too i felt it too i had headaches i had slight fever again and it is to be expected because your body is being triggered to create an immune response and that's why you know if you're sick you get fever that's an immune response that's your body saying hey i i need to fight and that's what it's doing it's increasing its temperature to fight off whatever is there to wrap this up i just wanted people to be inspired to take the vaccine a lot of misinformation is out there and i wanted to clarify that it's it is bad but it's not that bad it's better than landing yourself in the icu and at least the vaccine offers some protection for me and my family and again from the part one of this video i am posting all of the links and resources that can be useful to you if you're still on the fence about it and yeah, that's it. I didn't grow a tail. I didn't turn into a zombie. It's been three days after. So thank you for watching today's video. And I hope that this helps you. So that's it. Good luck. Bye.